Um, the WFP plane yesterday otherwise carried high energy biscuits for WFP as well as medical supplies for UNICEF and electronic equipment for IOM and UNHCR. The aircraft was meant to overnight in uh, Dushanbe in Tajikistan, ready for departure into Faisabad later this week with food aid. Uh, if confirmed, this would be the first airlift of humanitarian assistance into Afghanistan as part of the current operation. They still control Kandahar and four provinces. Uh, is it true? Uh, we're grateful to uh, two governments in particular, as I mentioned, I believe, yesterday, uh, the British government and the Danish government, uh, which are giving us uh, appropriate uh, assistance in terms of equipment to be able to uh, reopen uh, offices wherever these might have been uh, comprehensively looted. That is the case in Mazar, the case in Jalalabad uh, as well. We'll, okay, in the first phase, we'll bring about 50 uh, qualified uh, Afghan back, and we want to expand this program in the next uh, one or two years to uh, 1,500 uh, specialists. Particular attention will be <coughs> sorry will be given to the recruitment of women to work in administration, healthcare, education, and other fields essential for modernization and rapid development. And those of you who are interested, 1.30 in front of the UNO chapel, the WHO visit.